This is a day in the life as a Super League player. My name is Sophie Todd. I play for Casper Tigers. I work as a bid manager for a telecommunications company. I get to work from home normally, so not much has changed, but I think this is week six of completely being on my own. So as well as my coffee every morning, I have all my supplements. We have beetroot juice, two electrolyte tablets, five grams of betaralanine, five grams of creatine, multi vitamin, and a vitamin D3. First thing, I will also have two scoops of protein to start my day off. So I will down this and my protein shake, and then I'm ready to go for a walk. It's 8 a.m. I've just left the house and come to the fields. My two aims for this lockdown period, I wanted to make sure that I did 10,000 steps a day and I was active for two hours a day. Now, usually I'd be working for 9 to 10 hours, so I've suddenly got all that time free. So two hours of exercise, I don't think is a big ask. This walk, it takes us an hour and a quarter, it's seven kilometers, and the best thing about it is that it's 10,000 steps. So by the time I get home, quarter past nine, and I'll have done my 10,000 step goal. Back from my walk, I have made myself a late breakfast of eggs on toast. I'm gonna read my book for a bit, and then I've got a run. Just driven to the National Water Sports Center, which is where I do all my runs. Um, it's a man-made lake and it's 2k up, 500 meters down, 2k back, which makes it quite good to do runs because you kind of know where you're going to be. I hate running. With the lake having markers on it for rowers, I can tell how far is left and how much agony and pain is left. But, you know, it's really good. It's part of our program. We're well, training at the moment. We've got six sessions a week, two aerobic capacity sessions, which are these runs. We've got two field-based sessions, which is lots of Malcolms, lots of short sprints. And then we've got a mobility session and a Sunday circuit session. First thing on a Sunday to get you sorted for the week. Today, this is one of my runs. I'm going to do four 1K splits. So you should be able to see. So this is where I'm going to run. That hut there is one kilometer to the finish line. So I'm halfway, I've done two long plays. I'm sat on a chair seat. It's absolutely blowing, but it's good. I'm enjoying it. That's a lie. No, I am kind of. Um, halfway, the problem with this lake is because it's man made, it's so open. The one way you've got the wind behind you and then the next way which is the way i just came back you are into it as you can see from my hair it's pretty windy today so that's enjoyable three quarters of the way um yeah on the floor dying um that's one so i'm all done 4k in the bag today I'm going to go home and I'm going to eat some stuff. It's two o'clock. I'm back from my run. It's time for some lunch. So usually I would aim for something really simple and quick and easy. So I'd have a protein source, which would either be chicken, 5% beef, salmon, cod, some sort of carbohydrate source. It's usually jasmine rice and have a green vegetable. I prepare all my protein sauces beforehand so everything is quick and easy and I can just cook it. So let's see what's for lunch today. I've chosen during lockdown to go with a meal prep company called Muscle Food. This is not a sponsored ad. I'd love it to be but it's not. So today lemon and thyme pod, crushed potatoes and green beans which is pretty typical of something that I would have anyway. But in this pack, it's got everything I need. So we've got cod fillet, a large handful of green beans, which is perfect, and some white potatoes. Now, white potatoes get a really bad rep, but if you do a bit of research, you'll find that per gram of carbohydrates, they're actually the most, I think, satiating 
carbohydrate out there. See, literally one portion is five potatoes. So it's 45 grams of protein in here, 38 grams of carbs, and 15 grams of fat, which is perfect for me. Every meal, I would put into my fitness pal. Luckily with these meal preps, actually, they've got a barcode on them. So scan the barcode and it goes straight in there. So I'm all done. There we have it. For a snack, I love a protein bar. There is a fine line with protein bars between flavour and nutrients, but if you find a good one, stick with it. My favourites are a beaver bar and a battle bite. It is half past six. It is time for a mobility session. So I'd usually try and get one of these done every day. We use Romwod, which is a CrossFit style mobility for athletes. However, today is Wednesday and we've got the Casford physio, Joe, doing a session for us. So for dinner, we have got a chicken fillet, some rice, and a steam some green veg. It's half past ten and it's time to finish the day exactly where it started. We've done 17,500 steps and we've done three hours of exercise. So this was an insight into a day in the life of a Super League player, a Castle for Tigers player. I can't wait for the season to begin again and we can all get the 2020 campaign underway.